Hello and welcome to this AMCRAST tutorial. In this video, we will provide an overview of our enhanced AMCRAST GPS platform for use with AMCRAST GPS tracking devices, including the AMGL300, AMGL300W4G, and others. Before you begin, make sure your device is turned on and attached to the vehicle or asset you want to track. To get started, you will need to activate your device first. Simply go to amcrestgps.net and click on Activate GPS Device. Complete the activation form on the screen. Within 24 hours of completion, you should receive a confirmation email containing your login credentials. Return to amcrestgps.net and sign in to your account with your credentials. After logging in, the main screen will display with a view of the map. On the map, your devices will appear here. An asset icon or location tag will be displayed indicating the geo position of your device. Clicking on a device's location tag or info box will show a snapshot of the most recent information for the asset such as speed, battery level, odometer, time, and last location for the device. There's also a Street View button, which uses Google Maps to show you a street-level view of your device's physical location. On the left side of the screen, you will see the main menu with quick links to Map, Trips, Reports, Zones, and Alerts. There is a menu button at the top where you can access your profile, change your password, and log out, as well as some useful links. A mobile version of the Amcrest GPS platform is available for download on Android and iOS devices through Google Play or the App Store. In the left panel, each device will be listed with its device name, IMEI number, last update time, and battery percentage. Each device has a blue Recent Trips Time icon and a Gold Power Fix icon to reboot. The arrow icon opens similar device details as shown in the info snapshot earlier, and last location will provide the most recent address of the device. Device frequency shows the current reporting frequency of the device. This is related to the device reporting plan that you've selected. We'll see how to change to a different plan in a moment. Other features listed below include track, which tracks and displays the location of your GPS device in real time on the map. Street View displays a Google Maps street image. Telemetry data lets you choose a date and export metrics to an Excel compatible viewer to view device telemetry details such as date and time, report name, latitude, longitude, speed, odometer, battery percentage, azimuth, altitude, and time. This compiled data in a single report can be used as analytics for fleet logistics and tracking needs. Settings are used to change your device's name, set up alerts, and enter email addresses and mobile phone numbers for receiving alerts. You can choose to enable or disable each individual alert, and designate which method you'd like to receive your alert, such as a push notification, email alert, or SMS text alert. You can do this for all alerts, or for each individual alert, including trip alerts, speed alerts, power on-off alerts, battery alerts, SOS emergency alerts, and charging connected or disconnected alerts. You can also adjust the trip end timer, update odometer, choose device information to show, and change tracker skins. After making changes, be sure to click the Save button at the bottom. To exit, you can click the X on the top right. This will take you back to the main map view. Get Shareable Tracking Link gives you a trackable link which is valid for three days and can be copied and shared with others. This is useful when wanting to share device location with anyone via an easy-to-view URL link without logging in. 
Update Interval Frequency gives you the ability to change to a lesser interval frequency GPS tracking plan, with updates as frequent as one minute. Select Upgrade Plan. There are different plans to choose from, with updates as frequent as one second. When finished, select Update to update your plan. At the top right is the Help menu, with links to the knowledge base containing helpful support articles and videos. Also in the Help menu is the Contact Us link, where you can contact support. Next to the Help menu is an important notice regarding using the device internationally. Changes must be made before leaving the United States. Please contact support for further details. And in the right corner is a link to upgrade to a lesser interval tracking plan. On the right side of the screen, there are some useful tools. The stack icon lets you customize your map options. The standard roadmap is selected by default, which works well for most users. You can change it to terrain, satellite, or hybrid. The traffic selection box can be toggled on or off to let you view live traffic conditions on the map when tracking a device. The bell icon displays recent notifications. The GPX icons allow you to upload pre-created routes from Google Maps or another source into the Amcrest GPS platform in order to create a pre-saved route for planning or logistics needs. For more information on GPX routes, please see the segment in our Zone Creation and Alerts Configuration video. On the bottom right, there are plus and minus icons, which let you zoom in and out on the map. Now that we've covered the map, let's explore the other tabs in the left panel. Let's see how to view recent trips. Click on the Trips tab. Then select the device for which you want to see trips, and select the date. Alternatively, you can click More and simply select Last Trip, Today's Trip, Yesterday's Trip, or Custom Date Range. You can then export the trip details in an easy-to-read file by clicking Export to PDF, and then you can either download or print the PDF. Custom PDF Export allows you to choose a custom date range for your export file. Click Export to PDF, and then you can either download or print the PDF. You could also choose from pre-selected options like Show Last 7 Days, Show Last 30 Days, 24 Hours, or Delete Trips. Below you will see all the trips for the device and date you selected. Here you can click Show Trip to show the entire trip at once on your map or click Run Trip, and the map will play the path of the trip from start to finish. There is a control bar at the top right to adjust playback speed, to play the path slower or faster. There's a pause and play button, and a stop button to exit the control bar. Summary displays trip speed and battery percentages. To view reports, click on the Reports tab. Then select the device for which you want to run reports. Commonly run report types are pre-selected, such as battery, speed, and motion detection. Other report types can be selected from the list, such as charging, zone alerts, power, SOS, and notifications. And select the date. You can see reports appear in the field to the right. Here we see battery, speed, and motion detection reports. Let's see what each of these reports mean. Click on each one individually to view its details. Battery shows when the battery level is below the level you set in the settings, which in this example was under 20%. Speed shows an event when the device's tracked speed has exceeded the limit set in settings, which in this example was 50 miles per hour. Motion detection shows when motion has started or ended. Charging shows events when device charging is on or off. 
Zone Alerts shows reports when your device has entered or exited a zone. Power simply shows events when the device is powered on or off. SOS refers to when the SOS button is triggered on the device. There are no SOS records displayed here. Custom Reports lets you select the report type. and choose a date range as desired. Click Export to CSV to export details in an Excel-compatible format. Zones and alerts are essential features of the Amcrest GPS platform. To create a zone, click on the Zones tab. A zone is simply a virtual geographic boundary, or geofence, on the map. By creating a zone, combined with alerts, you will know the instant a device enters or exits a zone. Click Got It. Your cursor will now turn into a plus sign. To draw a zone, click and drag the map to find an area where you want for your zone. You can also zoom in and out. Once you've found the right area, click to create at least three anchor points around the desired area on the map. Continue making points as desired to create your zone. When finished, click on the original anchor point, or double-click on the map to complete the zone. A prompt will display asking to enter a zone name, and to select the type of zone. Zones can also be assigned to zone groups for better organization. There are two zone types. Zone Exit are geofenced zones that will alert you if the device exits the zone. Zone Entry are zones that will notify you if the device enters the zone. Both Combine Zone Exit and Zone Entry to notify you if the device exits or enters the zone. When finished, click Create Zone. Once a zone is created, you'll be prompted to create an alert for the created zone. Click on Go to Create Alert to begin setting alerts. This will take us to the Alerts tab. To add a new alert for your zone, click on Add New Alert. Here you can name your alert. If you plan on having multiple zones and alerts, it helps to choose a name that identifies the alert with the connected zone. Choose the device the alert will apply to, and the zone it's associated with, an individual zone or a zone group. Select the mobile network, and enter your phone number. Enter an email where you want to receive the alert. You can enter a second phone number and or email for a second user to receive the alert as well. Once finished, click Create Alert. The new alert will appear in the left panel under Alerts. From there you can view or edit an alert. You can also delete an alert. Simply select the alert and confirm you want to delete the alert. You will see a success message once the alert is deleted. For more information on alerts, please check out our zone creation and alert configuration video. And that's all there is to it. We hope this video has provided you with an overview of the new AmcrestGPS.net platform. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for the latest updates and instructional videos from Amcrest.